Now that we've looked a little bit about if-else statements and Boolean values, we can actually use just Boolean values right in our spreadsheet. So let's go ahead, we'll create a function here. We're gonna do it the right way. We'll write some documentation. We'll say, uh, this function tells you if a value is less than 100 or not. Pretty, pretty basic here. We're gonna say it has one param, which is a number. And we'll say this is the value to check. And then we will say return true or f uh, returns boolean true or false. Let's go ahead and we will tag this as a custom function. Let's go ahead and name the parameter. We'll say, let's name the function and we'll name the parameter greater than 100 and we will give the parameter, we'll just call it value. So let's go ahead and name that there and we will finish our documentation. Now we have this function and we'll, we'll make this very simple. Uh, we can actually, we don't even need an if statement here. We can just say return value is greater than 100. Now if we go back to our spreadsheet and we we'll use our function, let's say greater than 100 and we will pass in say 40 once that loads we get false and if we use greater than 100 and we pass in say 200 we get true so we can use these boolean values directly in our spreadsheet we don't actually have to use an if statement at all here in fact we could say function between 0 and 20 we could do the same kind of thing. Let's go ahead and just copy this. We'll hit Command C or Control C and hit Command V or Control V. And we can say this function tells you if a value is between 0 and 20. And we'll go ahead and say inclusive. We like to say that because we'll say if it's 0 or 20, we're going to also count it here. And we'll say the param number, value, the value to check. We're going to return true or false. And here we can just return value is greater than or equal to zero and value is its value is less than or equal to 20. so now we can actually see how this works you know for a variety of numbers let's go ahead we'll go back to our spreadsheet let's go ahead and enter some values we'll say negative two and then we'll say two and then we'll just copy these so i'm going to hit my cursor here and we're going to pull it down and we're going to get a lot of different values here and we'll say between 0 and 20 and we will pass in cell B1 and we should get a false there and I'm gonna go ahead and just we'll copy that all the way down as well we'll load all of those and we will see that we'll get false true 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 and then we'll get false starting around right here as soon as those load in takes a second there we go so true 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 false 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 so you can see how that boolean value we're using this combination uh, we're, we're using this combination to just identify if this is between 0 and 20. We could create another one of these now. We could say, we'll go ahead and copy this all and we'll paste this. And we'll find one to see if a value is zero or 5 or 10. Is 5 or 10. And we'll pass this in and we can just say this function tells you if a value is 5 or 10. Now we'll pass in value, the value to check, true or false, here we go. Uh, and we can say return value equals 5 or value equals 10. That one's pretty easy. And we can test this one over here. If we, uh, you know, if we were to use uh, is 5 or 10, and we'll pass in B2. It looks like we missed here. What do we call this? Is 5 or 10. So we must not have saved our code. You can see that little red asterisk identifying that we didn't actually save it. So there we go, we paste that here. This one is definitely 10. 10 is, 14 is definitely not 10. If we change this to say five, we can now see that this one's going to give us true. So we can, uh, we can very easily use these Boolean values to evaluate different things, but we can also use them pretty easily to just return true or false values. You know? So we might want to use those at some point in our spreadsheet because we might use your sum if function. You may use your if function. There are a lot of different things that you can use in your spreadsheet that might help you know, with this, this Boolean result that you might return. Uh, so this actually can help you a lot you know, to make your programs a lot less complicated when you're using 
some of those logical functions. We'll get into more if-else statements in the next module, but or in the next video. But thanks for watching.